we had a great baseline aerodynamically with the Plasma 3 and what we were trying to do was to um, obviously improve the aerodynamics but also consider what other areas could be improved on at the same time whilst not um, damaging the aerodynamics. So that gives you a much bigger challenge as an engineer. Part of the development plan for this was to, you know, find some stem solutions, find some handlebar solutions, you know, provide some of the adjustability that the profile has been known for for 25 years. Work on some of the things that, you know, that to get get athletes in the right position, get athletes so they can be fast, comfortable, and aerodynamic. We're working on a project where maybe we're trying to gain 10 watts in aerodynamic performance. You could easily see a rider moving around on a bicycle and the um, wattage varying by as much as 20 or 30 watts. So we're trying to develop a frame as accurately as possible under the true flow field of a rider pedaling and at the same time measure minute changes. The other new um, technology that's really helped us move forwards over the last three or four years is much more improved CFD code. And for this, we've worked very hard at um, correlating some um, bespoke CFD code to work with our wind tunnel, which en en enables us to uh, really um, develop and see what's going on through the duration of the development and give us direction. But ultimately, we've always used the wind tunnel throughout the process to understand and to validate um, where our performance gains are coming from. The points of integration that we worked on with the team from Scott was providing a, a front bottle solution that not only can provide hydration and nutrition to the athletes out on the course, but also provides an aerodynamic advantage. Trying to provide some internal cable routing so we can run everything through into the frame itself. Trying to get everything as, as much out of the wind as possible because every little bit of drag is, is gonna cause problems for the athletes in the long run. Second point of integration that we worked on was a draft box for the top tube. Uh, you know, this is something that athletes are going to use both for storage, for nutrition, uh, you know, everything from CO2s to tubes to gels, bars, you know, depending on the, the athlete's uh, needs for race day or for training solutions. This is something that, you know, really is going to give us and, and give Scott and the athletes something that, you know, a real aerodynamic advantage and a solution for them on, on, while they're using the bike. We're also giving a lot of consideration to the stiffness of the bike and how we can stiffen up the bike, maybe improve weight and make it ride um, much more like a road bike. And the other big thing is it, it's a rider won't be able to feel so well an 8 or 10 watt improvement in aerodynamics, but what they will be able to feel is a 40% stiffness improvement. Scott really pushed the system integration um, uh, a lot further and uh, it's, it's still a very sleek and uh, nice looking very very fast bike but it has all the things you need during the race on it. So we have seen some incredible numbers in the tunnel and I think it's very important to, to have the idea of a perfect triathlon bike from the beginning on. The most exciting thing on this bike is that there is no weak spot uh, because once you, you rate your bike then uh, you, you dislike it because of this one particular thing that you don't like and um, yeah, we, we, we worked our best uh, to, get, uh, to avoid this problem and uh, to have uh, in general in all conditions the top performing bike. I'm very excited about the fact that we've ended up with a bike whereby it's going to be absolutely very fast um, in a race condition, fully loaded with bottles and hydration. Um, in fact, the bike is faster with bottles than without. 
um, which is what we set out to do. So we, we achieved the, the full integration of the hydration and storage system. We had all the brake integration, we have all the cable integration in the frame. The weight to stiffness is really excellent and, um, and as usually with the Scott bikes, the, the handling is just great. I'm very excited to, to finally uh, yeah, put this baby out of the, of the tunnel and uh, show what it's capable of in real world racing.